Hi guys, UBA Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to install mods for spin tires. This is for single player and online. This is the easiest way to do it, and the easiest way how to get mods to work online and offline. So there's a cut. There's two two programs you need, and whatever mods you want to use. So get the mods downloaded. I'm using this Ford Raptor pre-runner as just an example for you guys to show how to do it. So once you've downloaded the mod you want to download. You want to go into the description and download this JSGME mod enabler. Download this by clicking on this download button. You are going to need, need to sign up to this website, but you're going to want to sign up anyway as you can download mods and stuff from, from here. So once you're signed in, click this get green download button. It should download to your, to your download files. Once you've done that, you want to go to this other link that I'm going to leave, clear cache version 1.0. Basically, Whenever you finish with the mods, you want to disable them and then you want to run this clear cache a program and it will make the game clear all, all the mod files out of the original game. So basically it will just take the game back to its original state, the files. Because if you if you close the game and then try and run it again after using mods online, it won't let you go back online. It will say uh, game files have changed. So make sure you run this every time, but I will show you that in a second anyway. So get this downloaded, get this downloaded, and get whatever mod you want downloaded. Once you've got it downloaded, um, right. So now that now that we've got them two programs downloaded, and whatever mod you want to do, you want to open up JSGM folder. Open it up. There should be another folder inside that. Open that up as well. And then you want to copy these three, these these three here. So you want to copy the mods JSGME in it, and the JS gm.exe launcher you want to copy them free so click the to uh, top mods hold shift left cl left click the, the launcher now that's them highlighted now you want to go to wherever you you installed your spin tires so it should be in so it should be in local c program 86 steam steam apps common spin tires so once you get to here you want to simply drag them free into this uh, this, this 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 location, um, and once you've done that, you want to open up the mods folder in the spin tires location. This is where you're going to install all your mods. As you see, I've got a shit ton already. So we're going to be installing this Sid Raptor pre-runner Ford. So you so you want to open up whatever mod you want to download inside here. You you will get a Another, another folder and inside that folder that there, there should be a media folder sometimes there ain't a media folder sometimes it just takes you straight to this classes mess textures and sounds so right now 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 come back over to the mods folder in your spin tires lo location right click make a new folder call it whatever you want call it call it something that you'll know what you're gonna going to be enabled so it's called this raptor raptor 3 so you so you call it raptor 3 press ok open that up if 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 the mod you're downloading hasn't got a media folder, make sure you right click inside the folder you, you, you just made for this mod inside the mods folder. Right click and make a media folder, then open that up and drag everything from the mods folder into that media folder. It does sound confusing, but it's not. But in, in my case, I've got a media folder, so I can just simply drag that media folder into the folder we just made in the spin tires mods folder. Right, that sounds confusing, but but it's not, guys. And you can do the same thing as well, guys, with with maps. I think I've got maps here downloaded. Yep, I've got I've got a map here. So do exactly the same thing. Go to spin tires. Go to spin tires mods. Open it up. Open up the mods folder. Right click, new folder. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to be installing the Bravo map, so I'm going to call it uh, rename Bravo. Bravo, probably spelled it wrong, but I'll Bravo. And then simply open up the mods folder. Open up the mods folder, open up the other folders inside, and, and this one's got a media folder in it. So all I've got to do is open up the Bravo folder inside the mods, the mods in the mods folder inside spin tires. Open that up, and then simply drag the media folder into there. There you go. Right, now that, now that we've got them installed. We should be able to launch up. Let's launch up the game now. 
do not enable no mods until the game is launched so let's launch it now right now that the game's loaded bluff and stuff guys you can tab out and run the mod enabler so tab out go to wherever you installed spin tires run the mod enabler the js run the jsgme i've put a shortcut on my desktop so i'll definitely recommend you doing that run it yes so now this will open up here guys this is the mod loader so as you see here these are all, all the mods that i had in inside that mod folder in my spin tires location so simply click the ones you want to load up. We did Raptor 3, so click that. Bravo, click that. Yes, don't worry about that. You will get some errors come up, but just but just click OK, OK, OK. So now, if we um, if we minimise that mod uh, loader, and then go back into game, and you should have 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 the mods in installed, guys. Yep, there you go. There's the level there. Let's play that. So you can see if it works. Right. Oh, sounds a bit loud. So as you see, guys, we have we have what the reps are. We've got the reps are, and we've got the map in installed. All working fine. So now I'm going to go and go in to show you how to clear the cache off so you can play normal online without it saying that the game files have been changed. Every time you exit the game, make sure you open up the well, open up the mod loader again and disable all all the mods. Disable them, close that, then download the the um the clear cache that I'll leave the link in the description I showed you at the start of the video. Run it, press Y, then enter. Then, then, then it should say done. Press enter again or any 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 key, and that's the cache cleared. So now, you, so now, you, so now you should be able to go online and play normally. So that's how you install mods on this game, guys. Till next time, peace out.